Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Uncle Fia. Today I'll be showing you guys how I make my lace frontal wigs. This hair was sent to me by Clay Hair. They sent me four bundles and a frontal and this texture is natural wave. Let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I do is I bleach the knots. So I get my developer, get my bleaching powder and I get a mixing bowl. Make sure the bleach is really, really thick and it's not runny so it doesn't seep through the lace because you're going to have to bleach, no, sorry, you're going to have to dye your roots back and that's just going to take a very long time and it actually is quite hard so try and make sure that your paste is really, really thick. Yeah. I didn't film what I've done to my frontal but if you click the link on the screen right now you guys can see how I basically do my frontals. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Now grab yourself your mannequin head and a wig cap, obviously make sure the wig cap fits you. Um, you need pins to pin down the hair, it will make it a lot easier for you, trust me guys. I'm telling you, you need pins. Now I did this off camera but what you need to do is put the wig cap on your head and put the frontal on your head as well and just mark where the frontal finishes and where it starts, I don't know if that makes sense. Basically what I'm doing here, just do that on your head, but mark it. And once you've done that, put it back on the mannequin head and then just pin it down. So when you do sew it, you know it's easier for you to just go along the line. And that is it. Now for the sewing part, make sure you don't go through the elastic band because you want it to stretch of course. So go through the wig cap, then go through the frontal and then just pull. Literally you do that along the line. It's not rocket science, just go through the big cap, through the frontal and pull. And we finished, this is what it should look like, just neat stitches not too far away from each other now when sewing the bundles I double them well only the bottom two I double the rest I do single but yeah so I double the bottom bundle because it's just so long to do single nobody has time for that I obviously just pin it just to make it easier it holds the hair up for me when I'm sewing it just like that now I put the needle through the weft every single time I start a bundle I put the needle through the weft through the big cap and then through the frontal and then pull yeah And after that I just put the needle underneath the weft, through the big cap and then pull. Now when I reach the end, once again I put the needle through the weft and then through the wig cap. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> This is so repetitive, guys, it's so easy, trust me. So yeah, these pins are gonna be our best friends when you're doing this, trust me. Makes it so much easier. But remember, when you cross over, always go through the weft so it makes it more secure. And then after, you can go underneath the weft and then through the big cap and then pull. Kissing, 
So, when you come to the end of your thread, what I do to secure it is put the needle through and then wrap it round, wrap the thread round, sorry, like three times and then just pull, pull the needle and that's it. And basically that creates a knot, sorry to tell you guys, it creates a knot. Once that's done, I cut the thread and then I do two knots to make it extra, extra, extra secure like this. Oh, gosh, it's so long. I thought I'd be doing this faster, but clearly I'm not. And then you just cut the thread off and you're finished. Now the first bundle is finished. I literally just add the next bundle, which I double. This is the last bundle that I double, by the way. Go through the weft, through the wig cap and pull. And then after that, you go underneath the weft and then through the wig cap and then you pull. Simple. Literally do the same method until the whole of the wig is literally complete. Now we've come to the end. Use a single weft, I repeat a single weft because you really want it to be as flat as possible. Pin it from one side all the way to the other side along the line of the frontal. Now we're up close and personal. Go underneath the weft again, through the wig cap and then through the front wall and just pull. Guys, it's so simple. I don't think anybody understands. You just need to have patience. That's all. But go underneath, through the wig cap, through the front wall and pull. But make sure you do it really flat and make sure you pull this extremely tight because this is the connection and you don't want it to be all flimsy and loose because then your wig's gonna fall apart. Work. 